Welcome to Deepest Kitchen. I cooked a banging food for you guys today. The era I live in, South Hall. Reggae legend Bob Marley once said, Love the life you live and live the life you love. My good friend Debo got a second chance in life after coming so close to death. This for me is a celebratory meal. A reminder that life is a blessing and we must seize every moment. And Debo is doing just that on this food banks. Today I'm in South Hall. I'm here to visit my good friend Debo. We're going to talk about how his upbringing in Jamaica helped shape him to become a confident cook in the kitchen and the nutritional changes he's made after his life was almost cut short from a life-threatening condition known as sepsis. I've got my fork and knife and I'm ready for a big lunch. I'm starving. Man like Debo! Welcome to Debo's kitchen. Welcome to Debo's kitchen. <laughs> Now that I managed to get myself exclusive access into Debo's kitchen, I asked him, what makes a good mac and cheese? He said it's all in the sauce. <laughs> Believe in the sauce. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Kalaloo, a popular Caribbean vegetable dish. I was dying to try this, but Debo did warn me. He said if you can't handle the heat, get out of his kitchen. Listen, oi, bruv, you've taken me to the islands, bruv. Yeah, sun, sun is shining. Come on, listen. Why not, why not, why not? Welcome to this food bank. Mm -hmm. We are in South Hall right now, back garden settings. Come on, mm -hmm. it's lovely, it's sun shining. Smoothie, rice, chick, bro. Not even gonna get into that. Debo, thank you very much for having me. My brother. pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you very much. My pleasure. What? I'm starving. Do you know I've been eating since twelve, and I had porridge. Just a line. I've, the, I've been, I've been off the food, but you kept waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've been meaning to come to your chick, uh, your kitchen mm -hmm. for time. I know, I know, for I know. Time. Mm -hmm. All the man them keep saying, "Yo, mm -hmm. Eli." I can't believe you've been given access. <laughs> Exclusive access to Debo's kitchen, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, Debo, thank you very much. Can you tell us what's on our plate? Just each component. Okay. First of all, I'll start with the mac and cheese. Yep. This is a mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Debo's kitchen style. Mm -hmm. Basic ingredients. Mm. Flour, eggs. Yep. Bit of milk. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Got a special ingredients in there that I can't really disclose too much. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone tight with your mac and mac cheese, bro? Mac and cheese, bruv? yeah, look. I'm mac and just because... <laughs> everyone's tight with, it, with mm. your mac and cheese, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, I tasted the sauce, innit? The sauce was banging. I believe in your sauce, man. Okay, with the jerk chicken, mm. I did a wet rub mm. and, a, and a dry rub, meaning that I season it mm -hmm. from, from yesterday, yesterday. Yeah. So the dry rub is like all the like all, all spices seasoning, yeah. jerk seasoning, right? Chicken seasoning. Mm -hmm. The wet rub is like in the in the blender. Right. Some scallion, thyme, pepper, Scotch bonnet pepper. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Add a little water to it. Mm. You know? Bang it. Then yeah, after that's blend, mm -hmm. apply that to it. Mm -hmm. Marinated it. Say nine. Say nine. Say nine. Yeah. That sounds bang. Yes. And obviously you put it on the grill as well, just to give it that extra, yes. that extra vim. Oh yes. Because you can. No, no, no oven thing around here. <laughs> real thing. No oven. No thing. oven jerk. That's not real jerk. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. What What else is going on here? So. We All right, your plate. Mm. I gave you um a barbie fry. A barbie fry. <laughs> <laughs> Bebo style. Bebo style. Barbie fried chicken. Barbie fry. It's an interesting thing. You garlic. Did with garlic in there. You, before you fried the chicken, mm -hmm. you threw in garlic and, and, and thyme. Thyme and, and scotch bonnet, yes. Why? To season it. To give that chicken the flavor. So basically, you know, some chicken can taste that rawness yeah, of the yeah. yeah. So it, it seasons the oil, so it killed the raw, any rawness in it. So when it soaks in oil, man. That's it. That's, That's it. it. So well, you're seasoning the oil. Seasoning the oil. You know, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Mm -hmm. Seasoning the oil, mm -hmm. garlic, scotch bonnet, and thyme. thyme. Mm -hmm. Does the job. Does the job. So a barbecue fried chicken, like you can see, mm. it's a barbecue fry mm. and it's a French fry. Right. What's the difference? I don't understand. So it's like a barbecue sauce. 
Oh, so this is like a barbecue a bar- sauce? But it's, not, it's, a kick, it's a different kind of barbecue sauce. Not your normal barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My special little barbecue sauce. Respect that. Respect that. On the barbecue fried chicken. On the fried right, chicken. Right, right. To right. make it a barbecue fry. Jeez. Say no more. You get me? Say no more. How did you prepare the fish? Um, Yeah, the fish was, um, that's a sea bass. Mm. Fish is like, um, we call it roast fish back in Jamaica. Right. So we normally put it on a grill. Like, um, you get bite the fish, you clean the fish. Mm. You get kalaloo. Mm. And you stuff the fish with kalaloo. Yeah. Um, you get some, um, you know, some um, um, crackers of mine. Yeah. But then I put it in foil paper. Mm. Put the butter. Mm-hmm. And um, a little bit of stocks. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Foil paper them up. Put them on a the grill. Yeah. About 25 minutes, 15 to 25 minutes. Done. Done. Hmm. And see this rice? Yeah, talk, I, talk, I, yeah, talk, talk I about put this rice on my snap and this guy was grilling me. <laughs> I said, remix the jollof rice, yeah? Bro. And he was grilling me. Now he's now eating, eating the rice. What do you think of it? I can't lie, it's okay, bad. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was grilling him because I was thinking, bro, you can't remix jollof rice. What's this then? You know what I mean? You can't remix jollof rice, bro. It's looking like jollof about there. It's a stir fry. Let's <laughs> be honest, it's a stir fry. I didn't man. fry it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fry it. Yeah, talk us through it. So you you, you made yeah. that. You, you obviously you threw some prawns in there. You threw a bit. Marinate like, the prawns. Marinate the prawns. Yeah. You know, with some seasoning. Mm. Um, the rice are cooked separately. Mm. I cut some. Um, you can see here. Um, sort of green pepper, red green pepper, pepper, yellow yeah, pepper, yellow bell peppers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Onion, garlic. Mm-hmm. You know, stuff like that. Mm, 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 mm. I put it in a pot. Maybe two minutes till it's soft. Right. When it's soft. Add the prawns. Right. The prawns gonna, you know, mm, mm, marinate mm. in the, the flavour. Then you add the secret sauce. James, another bro, you're killing us with the secret ingredients, that bro. That sauce is Debo's kitchen. Some MI5 thing, bro. Mm-hmm. It's so nice that the flies won't leave us alone, fam. You said <laughs> fly wanna enjoy. Mm. But like I said, yeah. Then um, when I made the sauce with the prawns, yeah, mix it up to a boil, like nice and well marinated inside. Right. Add the rice to it. Right. As you. You know, stir the rice within the sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 And then give the, the, the color of the sauce give the rice its color. That that sort of orangey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder why you call it jollof, yeah? Because from afar it looks orange. Like to It bangs, it bangs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It bangs though, I can't lie. I can't lie. I won't call it jollof. Please. No, jollof. No, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's my feeling. Okay, no problem. Me and jollof are mm-hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, um, Debo, this is amazing, man. This is an amazing Cheers, condiment of Cheers, flavors, spices. It's, mm-hmm. it's all going off here. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I feel like I'm on the island somewhere mm-hmm. on holiday, and uh, we can't travel this COVID. But yeah. you've taken me, mm-hmm. you've transported me onto uh, onto British Airways. B seven seven, yeah. Direct <laughs> yeah. to Kingston. <laughs> Fly. Um, but you, where did you where did you learn how to cook, man? Because I saw the process from beginning to end. I mm-hmm. see the passion. That mm-hmm. you know, you put a lot of you know, love into a lot of care, a lot of time. Mm. You know what I mean? Where, where, where did that all come from? Where did it all start? Curiosity from a young age. Really? Yeah. Mm. Always in the kitchen watching my mom cooking. Mm. And my mom used to work like late shift when yeah. I was young. Yeah. My older brother, well, he had to, he had to cook from about 10, 11. Right. I was about seven. Mm. So when he's in the kitchen, I have to help him. Mm. So he's chopping this, do that, do that, do that. Help him. So, as I'm watching him, I'm learning at the same time. Right. So when I got about two years into it, remember about was eight, mm, ten, mm, nine, ten. Mm. I thought, let me try it myself. Mm. But no one was there. Mm, 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 mm. I think the first thing I tried was aki. I swear. Aki and saltfish. Was that the first thing you the tried? The first thing I ever tried. Cook. No egg, no beans. Aki and saltfish. Because back home, the aki coat grows from the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You picked it. You boiled it. Yeah. When it's soft, then you cut your onion, tomato, blah, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Boil the saltfish. Mm. When it's finished, you put them together, mm. mix it up in the pot. Mm. Akin saltfish. That's a national dish of Jamaica, anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, I love mm. akin saltfish, man. Love mm. it, love it, love it. Is it a Jamaican thing to be able to, like, yeah. look after yourself as a, from, like, a young age? I would say, in Jamaica, mm. as a young age, we used to, like, go out. Right. Like, we roam, we would go everywhere. Right. And we don't have no one to cook for us. Right. So whoever can cook, it's okay. How much money do you have? It's yeah. called running a boat. <laughs> Is that what it's called, yeah? You run a boat. Running a boat. Running a boat, meaning that we're going to cook some food. Mm. Who can't cook? Watch. 
because everyone's got turn to cook. All right, all right. It comes around. Right, right, right. So when it's your turn to cook, you better, you better learn it. You know what I mean? So yeah, you can't flop. Because you're cooking for like bare people. So maybe about 10 of us, 8 of us. Sweet. So we cook the quickest food. So dumpling, which is easy. Yeah. Or rice. Mm. With some mackerel. Swear. Or ackee and sofa. You know what I mean? Something yeah. quick and we can cook quick. But and this was at the age of? I see you've got kids. How was kids? 10, 11, 12. Kids were some 7. So from Swear. 7, they won't cook. They won't make them do it by themselves. They'll mm. help them. But if you're with the gang and you're out, you could run in the boat. Swear down. You have to watch. You have to watch. That's insane. Yeah. To so, think that, do you know what? It's mad because when you're in the UK, mm-hmm. you're <laughs> my, up, my nephew can't even <laughs> fix himself up a hot chocolate. Yeah, I mean. And he's eight and is mad. Mm-hmm. So to be under that sort mm-hmm. of immense pressure to cook for your family members, go get ingredients. Mm-hmm. Know your ingredients. Mm-hmm. That's mad. That's mad. That's but mad. you know the funny thing? You don't always see it as a pressure because everyone is doing it oh, everyone's helping chipping in a little yeah bit. so you can, you can do it if you're like normal mm, that, mm, mm, I'll have to learn you, you're more willing to learn because right. you don't want to be left out right 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 oh Eli's going and cook man you know, should be coming with us anyway can you yeah. so you can be left out mm. because you, when it's your turn to cook you can't cook that's a that's a that's a positive type of peer pressure <laughs> you know in a I mean? positive way yeah in a positive way because you want to be part of the gang yeah. but to be part of that gang you've got to learn how to cook Oh, that's yeah, sick, yeah, bro. Yeah. That is sick, man. Mm-hmm. Say no more. Say no more. So you you made that you, you you speak about coming from Jamaica to the UK. Mm-hmm. That transition. How how was that culture shift? How was that? How was that, bro? To be honest, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> shocking. <laughs> For the first um couple months, I said now I want to go home. Swear, I wanted to go home. Why? Culture shock, bro. Just doing everyone's in house cold. I came in the winter. Yeah. I said, like, What's this, man? <laughs> Why is all the roof red? <laughs> Why is everyone in the house? They can't go outside, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So, indoor, indoor. I said, like, Nah, I said, oh. I told my dad, I want to go home. I called my mom. I said, Mom, listen, I want to come home. Mm. She was like, Listen, if you come home, what are you going to do? Yeah, for real. What's really here for you? For like, real. in more opportunity there for, for you. Real. So, I kind of home, can I kick in? I said, Listen. I've got to make the most of yes, what I've got. The opportunity I've, I've been yeah, given. Because yeah, yeah. a lot of people out there want that opportunity. You like to come here, mm. better life. What happened to all your friends you left behind? Oh, man. In Jamaica. Most well, some of them is dead. I swear. Mm-hmm. Major, majority of them is dead. Who's not dead is, is abroad. Where are you from in Jamaica? So? Kingston. Kingston, yeah. Mm. Right. Deep, deep, look, I've known this guy for years, yeah, mm. but I'm finding this out. First mm. time. So... Jamaica mm. and your, your, your couple of your friends have passed away. Yeah, passed away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's mad. Mm-hmm. That's mad. So you you, you kind of <laughs> yeah. now now hindsight. You're, I missed you're th- it. You're thinking if you, I was there, it would have been you. Yeah, definitely. That's mad. Yeah. Um, let's talk about you know mm. your cooking. Your, your, you know the, the way your cooking has changed mm-hmm. over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw that you know you you you're, you're being very careful with the mm. ingredients you're adding mm-hmm. uh, in relation to your health. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. So, for example, when you were cooking, instead of using normal oil, you were mm. using coconut oil. Yeah. Why? 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 Have you made that about change? three years ago? Mm. Mm-hmm. I had sepsis, bro. Madness. Is it that sepsisemia sort of sepsis? Yeah, sepsis. Yes, that's it. That's that's the number one killer, man. Sepsisemia. How'd you get it? I How don't know. And to this day, the doctor don't know how I got it. Talk us through it. So, how, how, when did you discover that I'm not well? I was in my house. Mm. Um, I wake up about four o'clock in the morning. Mm. I felt the sharp pain in my lungs. Mm. Like something punching me. What's that? So, was there for about a minute. Mm. Didn't think nothing of it. Mm. Went back to bed. Woke up about seven o'clock. Mm. Pain's getting worse. Wow. Went to the toilet now. Mm. Cough. Mm. Yeah. Spat in the toilet. Yeah. So red. Rah. I didn't think it was blood. I thought, my teeth, my teeth bleeding. Shit. So I washed my mouth out. Spit again. So blood. Then I got come out and said, nah, stuff is right here. Yeah. Then the pain was getting worse, worse, worse. To the pain I can't even move, I couldn't even breathe properly. So I called the ambulance. They came. Mm. Then they took them to the hospital. Mm. Done an x ray. Mm. Bro, they're saying on the x-ray, we can't see anything. Swear. I said, doctor, look at me, man. I'm in pain. Big pain. Yeah. 
I think a different doctor came in and he's like, okay, I'm going to give you a CT scan. I've done a CT scan. They said, oh, you've got um, pneumonia. Yeah, I remember. This was in mm. Elon Hospital. Yeah, I said, how? Oh, pneumonia? How? Jesus. Oh, so, um, took me to the wood. I gave me a lot of IVs and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Trying to wash out this pneumonia. Yeah. Then they're saying, it's, it's getting worse. Right. I said, mm, worse. What's going on? Mm. So, four days in hospital now. Mm. Fifth day. They call, they move me out the ward. Mm. I see the, I see the, I see the, <laughs> the, the, the doctor came in mm. with a mask, with gloves, apron. I said, what's going on? Why, why is everyone wearing masks, apron and gloves? What's going on? Yeah. He's like, and he said, you got septus. I said, what's septus? So this time they're talking to me, I'm on my phone in Google, mm. looking what septus is. I never heard of septus, obviously, you know. And I looked at septus. I said, wow. This thing killed in 48 hours, 24 hours. You know what I mean? Kills people in 24, 48 hours. Bam, gone. Septicemia, bam, finished. Unforgiving virus. Kill him, man. Kill him. So, um, I went to sleep. Right. So, I died twice in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So, you died twice? I died in my sleep, man. I woke up, they rushed me to the theater thinking, we got to do emergency surgery on you now. They had to do a surgery on me whilst I'm awake. Right. No anesthetic, nothing. For half an hour, I cry like a baby, bro. Cause they had to slap my, split my side. Yeah, I saw that. Where they had to inject a knee. Inject a big, just knee. pop the, the lungs, lungs to get the, the fluid out. So they couldn't put me to sleep because once one um one lung was dead. It was collapsed. Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And um, done that. Man, I finished that. I went to intensive care for like two weeks. Mm. Imagine after doing all of that. Right. They cut my um artery. Take so much blood after two blood, blood transfusion, bro. Wow. I was like, I had to work, learn to walk again. I couldn't even walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So after all that, two weeks in ICU, mm. doc, the doctor came to me. Um, oh, we we try everything we can do. So what do you mean by that? Yeah. We need to send it to our next hospital. Mm. After f one month in hospital now, mm. they're saying I was very. I, I went down so skinny, bro. Mm. I was skinny. So my face went to a hole in it. Wow. Yeah, man. Because obviously I lost so much blood, mm. so much inside of me. So, you know what I mean? You were walking properly. Mm. I, I wasn't like, eating. You wasn't eating at all. You, you don't have the appetite for so it. So they said to me, they're going to send me home to yeah. um get some proper home cooked food. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Which is a good, I think that's a good decision to me. Yeah. Because yeah. you helped me a lot. Mm. But they gave me so much tablet, bro. 25 tablets per day. Jesus. For eight weeks. So 25 tablets. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday for eight weeks. 25 tablets. And I think four of them were steroids. Wow. Look at me now, bro. Remember, I was... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A lot of water retention now. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to lose, but I'm trying my best. But like I said, didn't I? I give thanks to God I'm alive. Yeah, of course, of course. Because in the hospital, they said, I shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be I here. shouldn't be You should have been gone. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. but, so that's what contributed to mm. your healthy eating now. So mm -hmm. what changes did you... So after that, what changes did you say that... I cut the red meat out. Right. I don't eat red meat. Just today, I know I eat chicken now and then, but fish is, yeah, fish. Fish, you eat a lot of fish. A lot of fish. I try, I try to be the... Um, I'm trying... I'm half in the vegan. Mm. So like a lot of vegan stuff I try to eat. Oh, so yes. A lot of vegetables. A lot of veg. Lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Item stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do that. Because I said to myself... If the doctor can't tell me how I got this, mm. uh, my body was so strong at the time, it helped me to fight. Mm. Come on, you know what I mean? What I had. So now I have to just look after myself even more. Mm. Because they can't tell me how I got this, where I got it from. Yeah. All they're saying is a bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a rare bug. So I had to change my change up my way, my style of living. But I'm still not there yet because I want to be a full vegan. Full vegan, right, right, right. But that's, it's very hard, it's hard to it? come off chicken. Yeah, I did yeah. it for like a month or two. Like, for the meat, now I done. It. I couldn't believe I done it because I don't eat no meat. Do you know how long? No I red meat. It? One hour. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to you, and I'm going back to you know mm. your story about how you came close to yeah. death, and yeah. you know twice. Mm. How did that affect you, your life, like now? How has it? What... Sometimes you know I don't, I don't remember, like I don't try to put it in my head. Yeah. But at times it flops up like raw. Bro, I'm like I'm, I'm happy to be here. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this to me now is a second chance in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now I'm just trying to do my best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's got a purpose for me for being here. Mm -hmm. So let me just try my best. All I can do is do my best, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To 
artist. You know what I mean? I don't know what he wants me to do, but I try my best in whatever I'm doing. You know what I mean? So to be here because a sec not everyone got a second chance, man. For real. For real. But yeah, listen, the flies, yeah, I do the flies are killing us, man. They love this thing, Debo's kitchen. You know? <laughs> I don't ever see this in no one kitchen. Bro, they've never known flies here. Yo. Why are they here today? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Debo, listen, you need to open up your own kitchen, though. Yeah, man. but cooking for, for cooking um for um I, I got a passion for cooking. Mm. But when it comes to business, I don't want to be cooking. Why? I want you not to cook for me. I run the business side. <laughs> Every day, get up making jerk chicken. Ah, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, listen yeah, now. Yeah. Bro, you yeah, can yeah. cook, man. We always say, me and the man, mm. then we're like, Debo, mm. we see his snaps. Mm. This guy needs to push his I know, I know. Push I his think products. if I do push it, maybe I, I will, but it's, 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 it's not my passion to just go in the, in the business side, yeah. personally. Well, how can you eat this and do a bus driving job? I don't eat, I do night shift. I was about to say, oh, you do night shift, do but night you shift. don't eat this on night shift, because, bro, I'll be I don't, I don't, yeah, I can't eat. I don't eat during the night, because I know of my, well, I had the steroids and stuff, yeah, I'm trying yeah, to lose yeah, this weight here. So, um, because bus driving is just a sick you're saying, but you know me already, man. I was what 90 kg, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. 80 kg when I went in the bus, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what 11 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> How many kg are you now? Oh, bro, about 100 and something, 117 <laughs> and something like that, man. Jeez, <laughs> that bus life is bus man, life. So, it made me look like a bus driver when it wasn't really the bus job, you know. Did you ever think to yourself, I'm not gonna be fat, I'm not gonna be that typical bus bro, driver? That word fat and me, I hate it. <laughs> I hate. It. Sorry, I don't want to be rude, but it's personal things. You know what I mean? I just, you know what I mean? Because the bus driver, every bus driver's got a big belly, bro. Sit down, munch. I do want to be that guy, and I'm fighting not to be that guy. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah it's all, it's all, it's all good, man. Nah, it's all good, man. It's all Thank good. you very much. No for worries, my brother. Anytime, anytime, man. Oh man, um, this food bang anytime. This food bangs, man. Give us the recipe. We'll bang it on our website. Okay, cool. And then you know, people can you know try it at home. We mm, get yeah. people to send us pics as well. Yeah, yeah. Debo Kitchen yes. inspired. Yes, no problem. You know what I mean? Listen, Debo, thank mm, you very much. No this problem. was my sick, pleasure, man. My pleasure, my this pleasure. This was sick. We've my got pleasure. to do it again. No problem, man. I'm slumped now, man. Yeah, Let yeah. these flies have the meal, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flies. You can have it, flies. <laughs> All right, boys. Yeah. Yeah.